Jen Psaki asked, answering some questions from our Peter Ducey, uh, Chris, on Dr. Fauci at the end there, uh, saying, is there any circumstance under which President Biden would consider firing Dr. Fauci? Uh, she said no. So the White House standing full square behind Fauci, even as more and more questions are asked about what did he know, when did he know it, whether or not this money that the NIH had granted to laboratories in the United States and to Wuhan ever got used for gain-of-function research. Yeah, I mean, I guess I would say this. I, I've read reports and read through a number of the emails. There's no smoking gun there that indicates that uh, Fauci had any reason to believe that this had come from uh, the laboratories uh, and, and, and from the Wuhan Virology Laboratory. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is, I'll answer the question even though uh, Jen Psaki wouldn't. Uh, this is highly political. I can promise you that you're, you're seeing it as a major talking point from Republicans. I think that when Donald Trump speaks uh, tomorrow night in North Carolina, you're going to see him go after Fauci. Let's just remember, Anthony Fauci has been on the firing lines trying to protect Americans from public health issues since the mid-80s with, uh, with AIDS. And before we start talk, calling for his head, uh, this guy who's been a devoted public servant for 40 years, maybe we ought to slow down just a little bit. Yeah, he's a survivor, no question about that. Who you got on this Sunday? Well, he's more than a survivor. He's a public servant, John. No, but I'm just saying that he's managed to survive in a very hostile environment as well. So in addition to being a public servant, he's a survivor.